folks. Uh, it's yoga day or recovery day, but we're just doing yoga. Day 12. Day 12. Woo! -hoo. And I received some feedback from last yoga class that I, and I know and I apologize, it was just too much, right? And too long. So today's goal is to keep it around 40 minutes and we're going to do less. It's still some, the same postures, just not all of them. And we'll be able to hold them for a little bit longer. So let's get started. Um, you don't need any equipment. Just, you know, stand up tall and let's get to work. We're going to start with pranayama. It's standing deep breathing. It's good for your lungs and your respiratory system. Inhale by your nose, exhale by your mouth. All the time use your throat. Your nose and mouth are just passageways. Make your breaths nice and long, slow, and deep. Alrighty? So bring your feet together to touch. I'm going to stand this way so you see my profile. Heels, toes, touch, stand up tall. Focus forward one point. Interlock your fingers, knuckles under your chin, belly in, concentrate one point, and begin. Inhale, head down, arms up, concentrate forward, breathe in by your nose, using your throat, hold it at the top. Exhale, ha, sound out by your mouth, head up, chest up, look back, grip tight, all the air out, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, arms up, stomach in, weight on the heels. Concentrate forward, full lungs, hold it. Exhale. Ha, sound chest up, head up, look back, grip tight. All the air out, elbows touch. Inhale, slowly bring your head down as you lift your elbows up. Suck in your belly, fill up your lungs, maximum capacity, hold it. Exhale, ha, sound chest up, head up. On your exhale, look back, shoulders down, elbows forward to touch. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down, arms up. You synchronize the movements between your arms and your head in the six counts. Hold it at the top. Exhale, head up and chest up. On the exhale, Hip muscles tight, that means you squeeze your butt a little. Hip slightly forward, weight stays on the heels. Inhale, head down, arms up. So stomach in tight, open up your rib cage, fill up your lungs, maximum capacity. Exhale, head up, chest up, look back. Grip tight, shoulders down, elbows forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, arms up, belly in. Open the ribcage, take in a little more and more and more. Exhale, head up, chest up, look back, grip tight. When you think your lungs are empty, try to exhale even more, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, arms up. Just a couple more strong deep breaths. Fill your lungs, maximum expansion capacity. Exhale, head up, chest up, look back, grip tight, all the air out. All the way out, elbows touch. Inhale, last one. Now, try to make this one biggest one yet. Concentrate forward one point. Take in more air. Exhale, chest up, head up. Look back, grip tight. Empty it out. Elbows touch. And arms down. Alrighty, now we're all warmed up. Ready to start with the postures. Half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Now, feet together, heels, toes touch. Inhale, arms above your head sideways. Interlock your fingers, then release your index fingers. So it's a pistol grip. Pointer fingers point toward the ceiling. Arms with your ears. Take a deep breath, stretch up, and then go right and left several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Start to feel stretching down both sides of your body. Suck in your belly. Keep the weight on the heels. Right and left, right and left. Good, stop in the middle. Push your hips a little bit forward, upper body back, chest open and chin up, weight on the heels. Suck in belly. Take a deep breath for a stretch up out of your waist to the ceiling. And very slowly now bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or your knees. At the same time, push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Breathe calmly by your nose. Face calm, breath calm. Push your hips a little forward, upper body back, chest open and chin up. Weight is rooted down on the heels, legs strong. Tiny bit now, left hip forward, so keep your hips facing forward. Legs strong, abs strong. 
Tiny bit right shoulder forward, that bottom shoulder, bring it forward to open your chest. Now go a little deeper, stretch your arms to the right, push your hips to the left, push. Come down and push, a little more push. Inhale, come on up, stop at the top. Take a deep breath, fill your lungs, stretch up to the ceiling, keep stretching up and over to the left without bending your elbows or your knees. At the same time, push your hips directly to the right. Breathe calmly by your nose. Create the stretch in the right side of your body from your fingertips to your toes. Hips a little bit forward, upper body back, chest open and chin up, weight is on the heels. Tiny bit right hip forward, tiny bit left shoulder forward. Stretch your arms even more to the left, push your hips to the right, push, stretch and push, come down a little more, push and more, push. Inhale, come up and stop at the top. Time for your first back bend. Relax your head back as far as it goes. Look back. Take a deep breath and first stretch your arms up and bring your arms back. Point at what you are looking at. Good, stretch your arms out of your body and back more. Push your upper body back. Yes, keep the weight on the heels. Lock your knees, push your hips forward, arms back, point back, ball back, go back a little more, and come on up, stop at the top, suck in your belly, bend your knees, and put your hands down on the floor in front of you, nice and easy, your U-turning from back bend to forward bend, touch the floor, and just move your hips, right and left, right and left, right and left, to loosen up your hips and lower back. So you could think a little bit like you're wagging your tail, shaking your booty. You could go up and down. You could bouncy bounce. Just trying to get some movement into the hips and the lower back. Let your head hang, neck and shoulders relax. Alrighty, now it's time for hands to feet pose. Bend your knees a little bit, stomach on the thighs. Reach back behind and grab your heels. Step on all five fingers of each hand. Baby fingers touch side by side, thumbs included in the grip. Elbows behind your legs, tight grip. Pull your heels as much as possible. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine. Squish stomach on thighs, chest on knees, face in on the legs below the knees. So you wanna make yourself into a tight, tight sandwich. No gap between upper body and legs. Doing the best you can, always breathing, never forcing. Tremendous stretching in the backs of your legs. Roll forward, hips up to the ceiling, head down toward your feet. Feel that stretch, move up into your hips, down your spine. Pull, roll forward, try to lock your knees. That means legs are straight and strong, lock your knees. And inhale, come on up, arms with your ears. Reverse the way that you had gone down. And then arms down by your side, stand tall, take a breath. Alrighty, next we're going to do Eagle Pose, Garasana. Feet together. Inhale, arms up over your head sideways. Now remember, which is the right arm? Wave with your right arm. Bring right arm under left. Cross first at the elbows, right arm on the bottom. Cross at the wrist, thumbs toward your nose. Pull your elbows down. Eventually, you get your fingertips to go below your nose, but you do keep your hands in line with your nose. Sit down until your hips are in the chair. Stay low. Suck in your belly, lift up your chest, and bring your right leg over your left leg as high as possible. Cross, twist, squeeze. Try to put the foot under the calf muscle if you can. Sit a little lower, twist a little tighter. Pull your elbows down. Suck in your belly. Lift up your chest. Move your knees just slightly to the right. Upper body slightly to the left. So you have feet, knees, elbows, and hands in a straight line. Sit a little lower, twist a little tighter. Chest up now, upper body back, hold it, and change. Come on up, bring your arms up. Now weigh with your left arm, remember left. Bring left arm under right. Cross, twist. Thumbs are toward your nose. Pull your elbows down. Eventually fingers go below the nose. Sit down, hips in the chair. Stay low. Belly and chest up. Left leg over right now, thigh over thigh. 
cross twist squeeze. Maybe you can f hook your left foot underneath the right calf muscle. Maybe not, no big deal, right? Slide the foot down though if it wraps around. You want no gap anywhere between your legs. Sit a little lower, twist a little tighter, pull your elbows down, suck in your belly, lift up your chest, upper body back, hold it, and change it. Come on up, arms up, arms down, take a breath, and if you'd like a quick sip of water, it's a good time to grab a quick sip of water. All right? All right. We're gonna balance just for one posture this time. All right, standing bow pulling pose. Ready? Feet together, heels and toes touch. Focus one point straight ahead. Bring your right hand out, palm up, elbow in, palm facing up. Bring your hand to the right. Without turning your hand over, bring it straight down and pick up your right foot, holding it from the inside at the ankle. All five fingers staying together. So your elbow pit faces out, away from you. All right, all right, here we go. Focus on your point. Stretch your left arm up, chin close to your shoulder. Touch your knees together. Take a breath, focus one spot, and start to charge your body forward as you kick your right leg back and up. Bring your body down. Abdomen and chest come down parallel to the floor. Kick hard. Foot comes up over the top of your head. Kick strong. Steadily kick. Don't stop kicking. Kick so much that right shoulder goes back. Invisible behind left. Stretch your left arm forward. Your shoulder stretches forward and touches your chin. Come down. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. Come down, kick back. Stretch forward, kick up. Kick hard, kick strong. Kick more, more, more. Change. Stand tall, feet together. Alrighty, left side. Left hand out, palm up, elbow in. Remember, you're holding money. You don't want to drop it. Hand to the left. Straight down, no turning the hand or dropping the money. Pick up the foot. I'll face the other way, okay? Hold from the inside at the ankle. Five fingers together. Right arm up, chin close to your shoulder. Touch your knees together. Focus one spot. Take a breath. And begin. Charge forward as you kick your left leg Back and up. Yes, bring your body down. Abdomen and chest come down parallel to the floor. Kick steadily. Keep your head straight, your body straight. Kick directly behind you. Don't stop kicking. Alrighty? Kick so hard that left shoulder goes back. Invisible behind right. Stretch your right arm forward. Shoulder stretches out of your body. Two shoulders in line. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. He's making me laugh, kick back, <laughs> kick up, kick strong, jump back in, kick hard, kick more, kick into your hand. One more time, kick. All right, need change. I should have never turned around. I lost my balance too much. All righty, folks. We're going to stand on two feet again, okay? Standing separate leg stretching pose. So you're going to need some space to step to the right to do this one. Feet together. Inhale, arms above your head sideways. Right foot step out, a huge step to your right. Arms come down parallel to the floor. Pigeon toe your feet just a little. Toes in. Chin up, suck in your belly. Bend your body down from the lower spine. Keeping your spine long and your knees locked. Grab your heels from the outsides. Step on all five fingers of each hand. If you cannot quite get your heels, try to get the outsides of the feet. And if you cannot reach your feet, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Alrighty? 
Wherever you are right now, lock your knees stronger. Make your legs straight and contract your thigh muscles. Super tight. All of them. All right, once your knees are locked and you have a good grip, start to pull your body down from the lower spine. Chin forward, roll forward, pull, breathe. You want a long spine, a long neck. Roll the body weight toward the balls of your feet. Lift your hips up to the ceiling, stretch your upper body down. Backs of your legs stretch, hip stretch, lower back, whole spine stretching. Eventually, it is your whole body stretching in a 360 degree angle. Pull, roll forward, lock your knees, lock your knees. Lengthen down, maybe you touch your forehead on the floor, lock your knees. And change, arms out, stomach in tight, come up. Right foot back to the left, and arms down. Stand tall, take a breath. Triangle poses next. Feet together. Inhale, arms above your head sideways. Right foot step out to the right, an even bigger step. All right, arms are parallel to the floor. Push your hips forward, bring your arms back, open your chest. Turn your right foot out to the right all the way. Take a deep breath. Bend your right knee and sit on the right side. Make a 90 degree angle under your right knee. Bring your arms back, open your chest, take a deep breath, and move your both arms at the same time, elbow in front of the knee. Not too low, not too high, elbow right there in front of the knee. Reach your right fingers down to touch in between big and second toe, but it's okay if they don't touch. Look up, chin on the shoulder, look up past your left thumb, and stretch your arms up and down in opposite directions. Breathe calmly by your nose. Push your left hip a little forward and down. Push your right knee back. Make sure your hips stayed in the setup position, down low. Suck in your belly. Twist your upper body back to open your chest. Think up, reach up, touch the ceiling. Stretch up, lock your left leg. Feet are strong, pressing onto the floor, stretch. Inhale, come up. All right, right toes forward, left toes out, same big step. Arms back, deep breath, bend your left knee. Push the right hip a little forward and down, sit, sit, sit. 90 degree angle under the left knee, knee over heel, roughly. Your knee should not go out beyond your toes and your knee should not be not over your foot, okay? It needs to be over your foot. Arms back. Take a deep breath. Move your both arms. Place your left elbow in front of your left knee. Reach your left finger down toward the big and second toe, never pushing on the foot or the floor. Look up, chin to your right shoulder. Look past your right thumb. Stretch your arms up and down in opposite directions. Relax your face. Relax your jaw. Relax your breath. Feel your legs very strong under you. They are supporting you. Little bit right hip forward, little bit left knee back. Reach for the toes, suck in your belly. Twist your upper body back to open your chest. Think up, reach up, right knee locked, right foot flat, stretch up, come on up. Change, right foot step back and arms down. Stand tall, breathe. Good, next is tree pose. Tadasana, another balancing posture. So find one point to focus on straight ahead. Concentrate on that point. Shift your weight over to your left leg. Suck in your belly. Pick up your right foot and bring the right foot up high on the left thigh. Let the right knee come up to begin with. Place that right foot as high up on the left thigh as you can, maybe in the hip crease. Hold it with the left hand from underneath. Gently let the right knee go down and back. Suck in your belly, lift up your chest. Stretch your spine up, chest up, head up. Hips are level to the floor, shoulders are level to the floor, chest is lifted. Eventually you get your knees in line from the side, you're opening up your hips and pelvis. Suck in your belly, chest up. Right hand center of the chest. Maybe left hand to meet it. If the foot slips, hold it. Stretch up, head up, grow tall. 
and change. Feet together, arms down. Other side, remember, pick one point, stare at it. Plant that right foot down. Right leg is your foundation. Left foot up, way up high on the right thigh. Hold it from underneath with the right hand. Gently let that left knee go down and back. Belly in, chest up. Stretch your spine up, chest up, head up. Grow tall. Hips are level to the floor, shoulders are level to the floor, chest is lifted. First left hand center of the chest, then maybe right hand to meet it. If you need to hold the foot, if the foot starts to slip, definitely hold it. Chest up, stretch up, grow tall. Change. Feet together, arms down. Alrighty folks, on the floor now, it's time for Savasana. I'm going to adjust a little bit here. Alrighty. Lie down flat. Heels touch. Feet relax, open. Arms in close. Palms face up. Take a deep breath. And exhale, relax. Let it go. Another deep breath. And as you exhale, completely relax on the floor. Notice any sensations in your body. Just paying attention to your breath. Melt away and enjoy. Okay, one more deep breath. Alrighty, when you're removing pose, here we go, right leg up. Get a tight 10 finger interlock grip right below your knee. Pull your knee to your right shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. Keep the left leg on the floor, elbows in, shoulders down. Chin tucked, eyes open, breathe. Pull hard, steadily, not in and out. Pull and feel it in the right hip. Pressure on the right lower abdomen. No pain, just a little pressure. Hold it and change. Right leg down, left leg up. Tight grip, 10 <laughs> fingers interlock. Pull the left knee to the left shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Keep the right leg on the floor, calf muscle down. Elbows in, shoulders down, chin tucked, eyes open. Exhale, pull, hold it, steady, freeze it, and change, left leg down, both legs up, grab opposite elbows up over your knees, head on the floor, look to the chest, relax your feet, ah, relax, should feel nice to do this without having just done a million glute bridges, right? <laughs> Relax, visualize your spine flattening to the floor. Change, legs down, arms down. Take a deep breath and relax. All right, it's time for a sit up. Toes, heels, touch feet, flex. Heels stay down on the floor. Arms up, thumbs crossed. Arms stay glued with your ears. Deep breath. Sit up. Grab your toes. Double jerk, double exhale, forward to the knees. On your belly now. Cobra pose. Chin out. Hands under shoulders, palms flat. Fingertips line up with tops of the shoulders. Baby fingers line up with deltoids. Glue the hands. Zip up your legs, squeeze your butt. Keep the feet on the floor. Inhale, look up and peel your upper body up off the floor. Come up halfway only. Your belly button stays on the floor, but the rest of the upper body is in the air. Uh, eyes up to the ceiling. Bring your elbows in close to your body. Your elbows should be bent at about a 90 degree angle here. Reach your elbows down from your hips, chest up, come up, lift up, hold it up, way up, and come down. Nice and easy. Look to the right. Take a deep breath. <coughs> Exhale, relax. One more deep breath. Oh, 
Alrighty. Full locust pose. Arms out to your sides like airplane wings. Palms face down. Okay. Squeeze your legs, heels, toes, touch like solid. Inhale, breathing. Look up and fly. Arms, body, head, legs. Everything up off the floor except your hip bones. Look up and lift up. Squeeze your legs together tightly. Lift your legs up, thighs up. Bring your arms up, fingers higher than your head. Eyes up, lift up, exhale. One more time, hold it up. Come down, look left, take a deep breath. And exhale, let it go. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. All right, bow pose now, bend your knees. Grab your feet from the outsides, a couple of inches below your toes, five fingers together. Arms and wrists are straight, knees and feet are six inches apart. Inhale, slowly and gently, start to kick your legs back and up behind you. Now I'm not pulling, it's all kicking. Holding on with your hands, but kicking into them. Roll forward, head up, wrist straight, toes out, knees in, kick up, kick strong, kick hard. Kick a little more, kick, and come down, look right, deep breath, exhale, relax your back, deep breath, and let it go. Alrighty, let's push up now for fixed firm pose. Kneel down, and open up your feet wide enough to sit between your heels. Hips are on the floor, heels are snugly touching the outsides of the hips, feet are straight back behind you. You can open up your knees as wide as necessary. Take it easy on the knees. You don't wanna force anything. Hands on the feet, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Take a breath. Exhale, go right arm, elbow to the floor, left elbow to the floor. Then head, maybe you stay here, maybe you go deeper. Then shoulders, and if your shoulders relax on the floor, then you bring your arms up and grab opposite elbows over your head. Pull your elbows down, lift your chest up, tuck your chin, breathe. Eventually you bring your knees to touch, breathe. And change, hands on feet, use your elbows, use your hands, come up. And then nice and easy, turn around, lie down, savasana. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Let it go. One more deep breath. Time for a sit up. Toes, heels, touch, feet, flex, legs solid. Arms up, thumbs crossed, arms head together. Take a deep breath. Sit up, grab your toes. Forward to your knees. Half tortoise. Kneel down, sitting on your heels. Inhale, arms up over your head sideways. Palms touch, thumbs cross, chin up, belly in. Exhale, go down front side. Forehead down to the floor, baby finger edges down to the floor. But the rest of the arms stay up in the air. Stretch your arms forward as you stretch your hips back. Shoulder blades, scapula stretching out of your body. Hips stretch back towards your heels. A bit of a tug of war action here. Stretching fingertips to shoulders, stretching neck to tailbone, stretch. Then suck in your belly. Big inhale, forward and up, come on up. Exhale, arms down. Savasana. Deep breath. Exhale, relax. One more deep breath. Relax. Great, strong sit up. Toes, heels, touch, feet, flex. Arms up, thumbs crossed. Arms head together, deep breath. Sit up. So if you're feeling like you don't like those sit ups, skip them, that's fine, turn over. The sit ups give you energy though. Nice little quick burst of energy there for you to get through the next posture. 
So stand up on your knees with six inches between knees and feet, tops of the feet on the floor. Put your hands on your hips, fingers pointing down, thumbs outside like your hands are in your back pockets. Take a deep breath. Push your hips forward, relax your head back. Look back and go back halfway. Stop in the middle. You can stay here with your hands on your hips if you feel the need. And if you're ready, you can reach right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, palms down. Deep breath, hips forward, head back. Whole spine back bends. Open your chest. Push your hips forward. More full spine back bend. Push. Change. One hand at a time to the hips. Chest up, head up. Right to your back. Please lie down. Savasana. Right away. Deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Just gather information as you go through class. How do you feel? What do you feel? It's all information about you, for you. Not for you to pass judgment on and try to figure things out, why, why, why? But just to observe, to feel, that's all. Strong sit up, toes, heels, touch feet, flexed, arms up, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, <laughs> rabbit is next. All right, kneel down, and if you're very sweaty, put a towel over your heels. If not, grab your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. You would grab the heel over the towel if you use the towel, okay? Pull your heels, tuck your chin, suck in your belly, and curl down front side. Curl in tightly. Forehead into your knees. Top of the head to the floor. Then exhale, eyes open and lift your hips up. Roll forward like you're a wheel. Arms straight, elbows straight. If you have a large gap between your forehead and knees, you can walk your knees forward one by one. Suck in your belly. Not much weight should be in the head. Pull hard on the heels. Lift your shoulders up away from your ears. Bring your heels together. Press the tops of the feet to the floor. Remember, not much weight in the head. Pull harder on the heels. Hips up. Hips up. Stretch your back top to bottom. Hips up. Nice and easy. Uncurl. Head up last. And then go to your savasana. 100% relax right away. Melt away. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Okay. Strong sit up now. Toes, heels, touch, feet, flex. Arms up, thumbs crossed. Take a deep breath. Sit up. Grab your toes. Spin around. For head to knee with stretching pose. So right leg out to the corner, left leg bent. Legs open about 90 degree angle. Left foot pressed into right inner thigh. Arms up. Turn right and grab your foot. All 10 fingers interlock at the ball of the foot. Pull your toes, tuck your chin, and put your forehead on your knee. Let me show you. Roll in a little to your left. Left shoulder down, elbow down, knee down. If your forehead doesn't meet your knee, try bending the knee up. Okay, roll in, get the throat choke sensation, push the knee down, get the compression, roll in, roll in, change, come up, and switch your legs. Left leg goes out, right leg comes in, stretch up, turn left, grab your left foot, all ten fingers at the ball of your foot, pull your toes, tuck your chin, forehead to your left knee. You can bend the left knee up if you need, forehead and knee touch, roll in to the right, right shoulder down, elbow down, knee down, suck in your belly. Try to get your head closer with your belly. Push your knee down. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Change, come up. Now both legs in front of you. Lie down, take a deep breath, sit up, grab your big toe. Shh, shh. With your peace sign fingers, chop between the big and second toes. Grab the big toes. Walk your hips back 10, 15 times, right and left, right and left, right and left. Try to lock your knees, contract your thighs. Maybe your heels come up off the floor in the air. Pull your body down from the lower spine. 
Breathe and pull. Stretching backs of your legs. Think of folding your body in half. Stretching hips. Breathe, exhale, pull. Stretching your back. Try not to shrug up your shoulders. Pull, head forward, two toes, lock your knees, pull. Change, come up, go to Savasana and relax. Deep breath. Exhale, relax. Good, nice, strong sit up. Toes, heels, touch feet, flex, arms up, thumbs cross, deep breath. Sit up, grab toes. Spine twist is next, all right? So take your left knee, and bend it on the floor in front of you. Put your right foot over your left knee, corner foot flat. So if that already feels like too much, you can keep that bottom leg straight out in front of you, okay? Chest up, bring your left arm over your knee, push the knee back with the help of the elbow and grab the knee on the floor. Or you can hug that knee into your chest, okay? The idea is that you have two butt cheeks on the floor and your spine straight perpendicular to the floor like a pole. Chest up, wrap your right arm behind your back, either grab for the left inner thigh with your fingers or keep the hand on the floor behind you, fingers away from your butt. Chest up, look over the right shoulder, twist your body right side. So here, take a deep breath and lengthen your chest up, spine up. As you exhale, twist more. Feel your whole spine twist, top to bottom, twist, 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 twist. And nice and easy then, untwist and switch your legs. Try the other side. So right knee is down on the floor in front of you or leg is straight in front of you. Left foot is over that knee corner. Heel right by the knee. You don't need to try to bring your heel back by your butt, okay? Keep both butt cheeks on the floor. Right arm up and over. Push the knee back, grab the knee on the floor or hug that knee in, chest up. Wrap left arm behind your back or hand on the floor. Chest up, spine straight. Look over the left shoulder, twist your body left side. Every inhale, lengthen up. Every exhale, twist more. Feel your spine twist top to bottom, twist. Twist, a little more, twist. Nice and easy, untwist. Lie down. Savasana, take a deep breath. Exhale, relax. Another deep breath. Final sit up. Toes, heels, touch, feet flexed. Arms up, thumbs crossed. Deep breath. Sit up. Grab toes. Forward to knees. Turn around. Final breathing exercise, folks. And we are there. Alrighty. You're going to blow out by your lips 60 times, pulling your belly in and out. Focus on exhaling. The inhale should happen automatically. Relax your belly, pick one point of focus, concentrate, and begin. that is it. So good. Good work. Now turn around, lie down for your final savasana. Melt away. Close your eyes if you like. Relax. Notice any sensations in your body. As you exhale, let every muscle relax. No tension necessary. This right here is your reward for working hard. Just breathe. Take your time.
and joy. Great work. Namaste. Namaste.